think it's very important to have uh, conversations like we had today. We managed to bridge the gap between Europeans and Americans, between people coming from the tech space, private sector, and regulatory environment, but also people working on strategic and political uh, issues to really shape a common understanding on how we can, as a transatlantic community, tackle the challenges from protecting our privacy, freedom of speech, uh, uh, data flows, uh, and, and you know, really asserting a common uh, a space on the world stage for uh, the future of the internet, especially when you have the rise of China, when you have new challenges from AI, quantum computing, or, or 5G to really be able to uh, uh, um, shape common answers together. Well, I think you know some of the solutions. There's no unilateral answer. I think that's one of the key. Uh, the EU has really emerged as a as a key actor in setting norms uh, and setting regulation on in the digital space on uh, on the international stage. I think it's really uh, critical now, you know, as we move forward, to be able to include the United States, but also pr uh, private actors in this in this conversation to be able to move forward.